to see you. I hope you're all doing so, so well. This is going to be an unboxing video. I've not filmed an unboxing video for so long. This is going to be a quick unboxing of what I picked up at Louisa Via Roma. Let's get right into this thing. So, the cool box. If you don't know of Louisa Via Roma, I think this is a brand based in Florence and they stock a lot of luxury designer pieces, accessories, bags, clothing, shoes, and it's somewhere I go to pretty much every month to have a look for the newest things that got in. Quite often they'll have more unique pieces, things that you might not find on other websites, things that are often even more high fashion than say your average other store, maybe say like Selfridges or my Teresa, often I find their buy-in and everything that they sell in their store is often a little bit more unique and quite cool. So I really, really love this store. And I was having a look on there the other day and saw two new pieces I absolutely fell in love with. So I thought I'd show you. Let's open up this box. So there are two things in here and I don't know which one to show you first. Okay, so this is a pair of Malone Souliers heels. Again, I'm not too sure if that's the correct way of pronouncing it. I'm pretty sure it must be Malone Soulier. Soulier, Soulier, Soulier. Mal I might just be putting too much of a kind of French sounding spin on it. Malone Soulier. Either way, beautiful. Um, so let's have a look in here. I really, really love this brand. And these shoes are very similar to a pair I saw last year and was so smitten with them and they kind of sold out everywhere and then I saw they brought them back but in a slightly different style. Okay, I just really, really love these. Here they are. So they are, I think this is a 10 centimeter heel, pointed toe because I always go for pointed toes. I just think they look a little bit more sexier, especially for my kind of shape, I just like them more. Um, and the ones that I've seen in the past, they had the two straps like this, but they kind of cut off here. They didn't have this top bit, so almost like hung to your foot, and they were just so sexy. But then I saw that these have been brought out with this extra ankle strap and the zips to the back, and just really loved the colours. The navy with silver, I thought, were just so beautiful. So I thought I'd give them a go. It's a really, really beautiful suede. This is kind of like a patent silver leather. It's a very flat, ordinary sole. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, okay, so, so far, so good. And the next thing I picked up was from Saint Laurent. I saw this last month and just thought this was one of those more affordable, I say affordable because usually things are kind of over a thousand pound, and this is under 500 pound. So I kind of felt it's the sort of thing that a lot of you guys who are thinking of investing in your first designer piece might love the look of because it's a little bit more affordable but also super sweet and it looks like this how cute so this is a little ysl it's called the blogger bag which of course straight away i was like this is cute blogger bag and it's almost the perfect size for a camera so for like a little mini vlogging camera this is so perfect do you know i don't even think it'll fit my phone okay it doesn't fit my phone <laughs> but it will fit other things at least. And quite often I don't actually have my phone in my bag. I quite often have it in my pockets, just because I, I use it so often. So then it comes on a long strap. Ooh, take that off. A really thin, but long strap. And here, I hope I can take this off, okay. And here is a little tassel on the side. That is seriously adorable, isn't it? And some of the fact that it's kind of the gold hardware, it's a smooth leather. I don't really have much in smooth leather, but I feel that the more I use this, the more it'll kind of give me more personality and the leather will kind of go really lovely and, and soft. And then the big wire cell on the front and the gold is lovely. And it also has a little back pocket. I guess you could get a card in there if you wanted to. But it's that kind of perfect over shoulder length as well. Oh, it's just so cute. So yeah, this is under 500 pound at least. So for anyone that's thinking, I really want to invest in something or you really love Saint Laurent, you want something from there, but you don't really have enough to spend on maybe a thousand pound bag, 1500 pound bag like they often are. I thought this would be quite a nice little investment piece. Inside, it's got a few little card holder sections in there. But yeah, the kind of, this is the kind of thing you could probably fit a few lipsticks, your cash, your keys, camera, and you'd be good to go. But of course, if you've got an iPhone 6 Plus, it's not gonna fit. An iPhone 5 would fit in there. An iPhone 6 would fit in there. An iPhone 6 Plus 
definitely doesn't. But I think that is adorable and I feel like I'm gonna get so much use out of this as like a camera bag. Especially for like fashion week and everything, if I just wanna carry my small camera around with me, this is gonna be so perfect for that. Or even maybe in the airport, as the way to kind of carry my passport and documentation things, this could also be quite sweet. So yeah. So that is it for this little unboxing. I really hope you enjoyed it still though. Let me know down below in the comments if you preferred the bag or if you preferred the shoes. I'll be back soon with another video. If you're new, then please do subscribe. I make two videos a week, Wednesday and Sunday, and it'll be great to have you. And for everyone else, please do like this video. It makes me super happy to see you liking it. And I'll um, see you soon. Bye.